Now, Michelle and I have been in Hanoi for over a week and we've had fantastic savory dishes, particularly the pho ga. I love the uh, the, pho, the pho's as we call them, but the pho, which has uh, chicken and beef in it. It's a noodle soup, delicious. But don't forget, Vietnam is not just about savory dishes. There is wonderful sweet dishes here too. So I'm gonna take you out on the streets of Hanoi today and we're gonna taste some of the best sweet dishes in Hanoi. Come on. What are you waiting for? Can you miss what you never have known? And can you ache for a place that was never your home? So it's in these little cafes, these little back cafes where you're gonna find all these lovely sweet desserts. So this is the mixed fruit chairs. This is Hua Gua Tham. So this is Hua Gua Tham. This is like a Gua Tham. This is a mixed fruit with, uh, they've got like a uh, sweet milk on this. So we've got jackfruit, we've got watermelon, very refreshing. Break it up. Okay, so we've got the ice in to chill down the, the fruit. I mean, take a bit of ice, let the fruit chill down, mix it through there. Let's get a big mouthful of this. I've got some jackfruit. Mm. And I think coconut milk, is it? Yum. I'm not sure how you pronounce this street, but this street is one of the streets on the other end of town, which has also got some great sweet delights. Now you've got to remember in these places, there's very little English spoken, so you're going to have to learn a little bit how to communicate and gesticulate with your hands. So this is caramel nip gum. So you've got this beautiful caramel, look, the creme caramel. Inside you've got the, the black sticky rice. I love this. And then they've got this condensed milk. I don't know if it's sweet condensed milk. You take your ice, just drop some ice in there, a little bit like this, just mix it up. So the ice is there just to cool the dessert down. Before I break it all up, just have a look at this beautiful caramel here. It's like a creme caramel, sweet and sticky and delicious. I love the creme caramels here, they're so good. A little more ice, come down here. A little more ice, in we go. We've got our black sticky rice here. Give this a mix through. Look at the color of that rice. If you can see down on this side, it's almost sort of purpley red. Caramel nip gum. She says I've said it all right. Here we go. You've got to be here. This one, Michelle loves. This is a, a coconut that's been hollowed out and inside you've got, come and have a look. So that's the coconut jelly. You've got the young coconut flesh inside, which in itself is just delicious. Now I love this. Michelle loves the jelly. I like the jelly. It's not my favorite. Whoa. Lovely and chilled too. So on top, you've got coconut cream. And I'll just show you, if you cut through there, the coconut cream is set in a gelatine. This is lovely and cold and chilled and delicious. Here it goes. That is sweet and rich and coconutty. Now, if you love the coconut cream, that's the bit you'll go for. Michelle likes the coconut water, which is underneath. Come back down here. Still set in gelatine. Under there is this beautiful, can you see that? That's the coconut water, also set in a gelatine. Now, I'm gonna eat a little bit of this, then Michelle's gonna finish it off. Here it goes. Mm. This is a huge dessert. The previous dessert, the one with the um, sticky rice, that was 20,000 dong. This one's 35,000 dong. It's about $2 for this whole dessert down here. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? to get this beautiful young coconut flesh off as well. And you can, you can take that, mix it up with the actual coconut itself. It's a beautiful, refreshing dessert. Okay, I've got to admit, I've got a sweet tooth and I'm not leaving here before I try the third of my favorite from this one shop. So this is a great place to come. I'm going to have, um, let me have a little look on here. Now I've just ordered it. 
but I've probably got the name wrong on Che Swai. So I've got myself a Che Swai. Here it comes, ladies, bring it over. Thank you. Come on. Now this one I stumbled across. It wasn't obvious when I came in the shop, but look at this. Underneath this cream here, I don't know if you can see, we've got this beautiful mango jelly, and you just break into the jelly. Take that sweet milk off of there, and then. Beautiful. Okay. You've got all this lovely diced up sweet mango in here. So, so good. Who am I kidding? Just one last thing before we leave. I'm going to end this little visit to the shop with a final caramel. Okay, finishing on the caramel. I love these. Nothing with it. This sauce at the bottom is lovely like burnt sugar. Absolutely gorgeous. One for the road. This is the guy, Michelle's filming. This is the guy that helped and served us last time with the chair. So first of all, he's gonna take a fresh coconut and he's just taking the top off. Now, for some reason this time, he's given me the coconut water. He didn't do that last time, but maybe it's because I'm a regular now. Now, firstly, he's filling the inside of the coconut with ice cream, he's putting a little bit of shredded coconut in the center, and then he puts this beautiful swirl of ice cream on top. In goes some pieces of jackfruit, a little more shredded coconut, and then some pieces of this beautiful toasted coconut. Thank you. So we'll get some nice photos. So here it is. That looks beautiful, doesn't that look beautiful? I'm saving the coconut water for Michelle. <laughs> I'm just gonna get some of this. Uh, I want some of that toasted coconut. Here we go. Sweet. Cold, delicious. Got the little jackfruit in here. Little pieces of jackfruit. Little bit of toasted coconut. Camera, thank you. I enjoy it. <laughs> so this is a little hidden gem. A little bit away from the center of the old town. How are you? Oh. Tell you the truth. Yes. Yeah, taro. Taro. Thank you. This one's rice plate. This one's rice plate. So good. Michelle's got the taro. I've got the rice plate. Rice plate. Rice plate. Nice. I'm not sure what rice plate is, but it's delicious. Mm. Okay, it's unfair of me not to describe it and say it tastes great. It's sort of vanilla, a little bit towards rice maybe but sweet so sugary uh, overall it's delicious so it's air conditioned it's got this lovely sort of old school charm of an ice cream parlor now i've got to report in also the cones are really good they're sort of um, caramelized flavor which uh, i love well worth the 12,000 gong you pay for this which in australian dollars is around about 70 or 80 cents US I think it's probably closer to 50. In case you're thinking, did I come back for another try? No, this is the same visit, of course. Wow, strawberry is really good. <laughs> now watch the chances. Right next door to our favorite egg coffee shop in Hanoi, there's this fantastic bubble waffle shop. The lady there was super sweet. She decided to let me make my own waffle Though it seemed I wasn't putting enough batter in at first. Not enough. Now. So I've got myself a new job now in Hanoi, working on the, um, what would you call these? They're like a, like a waffle. waffle, like round waffles. And these are vanilla, vanilla, vanilla. Yes, what would you like? He has a cue. <laughs> what do you want? Matcha. 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 <laughs> So this one the lady's making is going to be a matcha. My first customer. Come on, thank you. Not bad. That is fifteen thousand dollars. So when you've enjoyed yourself the best egg coffee in Hanoi, pop outside and have yourself a bubble waffle. Oh yeah. When the rain comes out of the clouds, it 
Snow. So we've got all the bees over there, but uh, I've got myself a beautiful sugar cane drink here. His fate was ordained when the time came to rain. There's nowhere to go now but down. Lovely and refreshing. Just follow the road. You haven't had this before. I haven't I explained it? It's like slightly sweet water with a slight sort of honey taste. You can see why the bees love it. This is delicious. So let's be honest with this cane water or cane sugar drink. Michelle and I have been sharing this and it's still too sweet for us. So it's great, it's refreshing. And if you like sweet food, you'll be fine. But if you're not a great sugar addict like uh, we are not, then um, it's beautiful, it's delicious, slightly grassy, but just a little bit too sweet. Now these donuts are fresh off the street. The lady here is cooking them up. They're absolutely gorgeous. Now, unlike the ones that are being handed out around the old town, which have been on those baskets all day, these are lovely and fresh. Give it a try. Oh, delicious. The oil is slightly savory, not super sweet. You've got the sesame on there. Uh, you've got the beautiful little donuts. Now also inside the donut, there's like a white bean paste. It's slightly sweetened, almost a uh, vanilla flavor. Another great advantage of these little donuts is they are gluten free as well. And this being a cooking channel more than a travel channel, we will be covering these donuts as a recipe on Steve's Kitchen at a later date. It's amazing, there's a constant flow of people coming up to the store, picking up donuts on the back of their scooters and off they go and a few seconds later, another one appears. Find that the answer is yes.